Hello, in this video we will look at the vaults that you have when using OneDrive on your Chromebook or any other computer, but this is for the Chromebook specifically. Now, with Google Drive that you get when you have a Google account, so you always have Google Drive when you've got a Chromebook because you need a Google account to log into a Chromebook, and it's fine, but there's nowhere to put um, files that, say if you had a copy of your passport, which you want to have a copy of your passport, or any of the other files that are sensitive information, there's nowhere to put them inside your a Google Drive under an, an extra folder that is password protected. So if people have access to your Google Drive because they've somehow managed to get access to your Google account, it's not as protected. Now, obviously, you should never try, you should always protect your password, your Google account as much as you can by making sure you've got a really strong, secure password um, but it's it's not just from that as well it may be that someone has access to your computer or you allow access to your computer and you don't want them to go through all of your files to see what's there so it's not just about being hacked it's just, just about knowing that you've got some files on your computer that you don't want other people to see and you don't have that option with google drive but you do have the option with OneDrive. Now, I've made many videos before about Microsoft 365. I think Microsoft 365 works much better now on the Chromebook. In fact, um, in ways, it's better than what Google offers with their packages. I'm not saying Google Sheets and Google Docs isn't good, but you do get some extras with OneDrive that I like. So first of all, to use it, you would need to go to office.com. You can use it for free, but there are limitations when you use it for free. For example, for the password vault, you can only put free files in there if you're using it for free. But the subscription package is really worth it. I pay for a family package because I've got it on different accounts. So I needed that and I only pay £7.99 a month but you can also get and it's the same in dollars you can also get just a single package and that's about £5.99 roughly the same in dollars and bearing in mind that that is good because it gives you access to office.com on your Chromebook and also if you've got a Windows PC or you've got Windows installed on your Chromebook I've got a video to show you how to do that you can also download the full packages of Excel, for example, or Access. So it is good value for money. So when you've got um, Office Microsoft 365 on your Chromebook, like you can see I have here, there's Microsoft 365, and that's the main platform there, and you've got OneDrive there. And I've also got OneDrive down here because you've got Google Drive and I've got OneDrive next to it. Makes sense. So I've got both cloud storage systems next to each other. So if you go into OneDrive, you'll see here that I've got my files here, but there's a personal vault here. So I could put a so maybe a copy of my passport, for example, I could put inside this personal vault and then nobody could get access to that unless they could get inside that personal vault. And it's not just things like, um, copies of your passport it could be excel documents with your personal finances on there you might even want to have somewhere where you can store other sensitive information you can put anything in there essentially so to open that if i clicked on the personal vault the way i've currently got it set up it will ask me to verify my identity so it's going to send me an email and then what I'm going to do on my phone here is just put the code in. Now, I will do a separate video. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to do another video, not part of this video, about how to make Personal Vault a lot more secure than what it is as standard when you first set it up. Okay, so here I've got the code and I'll simply put that code in here. and then click verify and then that's it it's given me access to my vault as you can see i'm here in my vault and i've got an access database in there i've just got a word document in there nothing really in there just to show you and you can then move files into it so for example here i've got pictures save pictures say if this was a picture or a file that i just didn't want people to see I could go to go back to my files, go into personal vault like that, 
and then from there just you've got move from up here just click on there and then look for the file that you want to move so the one i'm moving is in pictures and then save pictures or is it not save pictures so it should be in there let's have a look um onedrive is a bit temperamental um so this may just be a temperamental issue so let me just check i'm sure there was an image in that section so if we go back go to pictures yeah so in save pictures there is a picture of a dog so why that's not showing up, I don't know. And I think you've just got to accept sometimes you're going to have these slight issues. But let's go back in. It's not perfect. But if we go to move from pictures, for some reason, it looks like this dialog box that has popped up. There we go. It's there now. As I says, these things happen. So then you click on the picture of the dog file there. Just click on that to select it. And then up here, just put move items and then that's moved into the personal vault. I could have copied it or moved it. There's two different options. So now that file is behind that personal vault like that. So then it will automatically close and you can change them settings, but I think on, on a computer, because bear in mind you can use this on your phone as well or tablets or different methods of using OneDrive. Um, on here it will automatically close within about 20 minutes or if i wanted to i could just right click on there before i do i will just show you one more thing directly from the vault as well you can click up here and say just start creating a brand new spreadsheet or a OneNote. so if you use one note if you had notes you wanted to password protect you could create a one note here just create one just put create And you could have notes here, whatever they were. Um, one note notes. And then that is automatically with inside the vault. So you haven't got to worry about moving it to it either. So if you then close that down, close that down, as you can see, that's there, that notes. So that's going to be automatically inside your personal vault and then once you've finished with it if obviously if you close down it will automatically close anyway so that's fine but if you want to close it yourself just right click on it like that and then just put lock and then that's all locked so that's a good it's it's much better that you've got this option inside onedrive and i'm not too sure why google don't have the same thing with google drive as well now i fully appreciate you know passwords and if you've got access to someone's google account then that's a major issue anyway and it's the same as with your onedrive account so the idea is if you've got that protected then you don't need to have any extra layer of security but like i says it may be that you have people who can access your account and there are certain files you don't want them to see and that's when the personal vault comes into play so that's why it's good however i wouldn't say it's perfect setting up from scratch there are a few things i would change to make it more secure and i will discuss that in another video because i need to look into it a bit more first and if you want to watch that video as well subscribe to my channel so i hope you liked this video if you did please like below and subscribe to my channel for future videos and thanks for watching